And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we'll kick off just moments away. We really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Belgium versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. The starting players for Belgium. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a diamond in midfield, which allows them to dominate the central area, but does leave them exposed out wide. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Marc Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Serge Gnabry starts with Julian Brandt in the wide areas. And the starting role in attack today is handed to Timo Werner. And now they get the ball rolling. Onana. Arthur Teat. De Bruyne now. Lukaku. And reading it absolutely superbly. Serge Gnabry. And it's a quality pass. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Minier. Romero Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on. Stuart, you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here. Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Could be an early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here's the replay, and it's the perfect ball in. Hard and low, causing plenty of issues for that back line, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Once again, they get the ball rolling. Let's find out if Belgium can react to this setback. Van Aken. Carrasco now. Lukaku. Amadou Onana. De Bruyne. Opportunity. And a goal! again and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post but I think he should probably do better he'll be a little bit disappointed with that
Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Brandt, on to Werner. Germany pushing forward with options available. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Lukaku. Serge Gnabry. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Credit to them for winning back possession. Onana. Kevin De Bruyne. Now Minier. Amadou Onana. Mastery of the passing game. Minier. And still looking to get the shot away. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. They favoured a short one here. Arthur Teat. Emre Can. Viet. Brandt with it. Tilo Kera. A fine use of the ball. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Minier. De Bruyne. He has time to play it over. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? Florian Wirtz. Difficult to stop him. But timely defending when it mattered. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, let's take another look, and it's a technique that we don't see enough of, using the outside of the boot, and on this occasion, to great effect. What a goal that is. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Determined defending. Well, there it is, as expected. Belgium have controlled more of the ball so far, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Might really be able to trouble them here. De Bruyne and a very good challenge can they hit on the break well, the stoppage time situation one minute here Charles de Quetelare can he find the angle really important piece of last ditch defending so that will be all for the first half here in Hannover.
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yes, he'll be pleased with his first half display. His movement was good, as was his passing, and of course he took his goal well. Just needs to continue that form into the second half. And they kick off here. Amadou Onana, De Bruyne, opportunity, and a goal! An end-to-end -end game, and they weren't behind for long. Oh, what an exquisite goal! Absolute perfection! And the ball is moving again here, with Germany looking to build on what was a positive first-half performance. Werner. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Charles de Ketelare. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly red. Florian Wirtz. Germany could get in behind the defence. Brandt. Return to Werner. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Lukaku. De Kate Delare. Brandt with it. Brandt. On to Werner. Emre Can. A glorious chance. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. 30 minutes left for play. Van Aken. Well, couldn't keep it. Serge Gnabry. Florian Wirtz. Gnabry. And now passing it through. Oh, a goal! How about that for a degree of difficulty? Simply off the charts. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Pass. Carrasco. Chance here. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. Brandt. Werner. Committed challenge. Into the final 20 minutes. Vertonghen. Carrasco. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. Gnabry. Oh, fancy footwork. 
Chan. Brandt! That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Elects to go short. Kai Havertz. An alert piece of defending. Van Aken. Fass. The ball with Van Aken. And back with Carrasco. Chance to make a game of it here. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Brandt. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Ginter. Now with Kimmich. Germany in a position of menace. Just the challenge that was required. Charles de Quetelare. Well, the counter chance looks very real. But the danger averted for now. Delightful pass. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. He's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Grant. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Oh, could be. And it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. And the referee blows for full time. It's a defeat for Belgium here. Stuart, your analysis. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips through the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.